Hello again, everyone. I'm All Dragon, and I'm Zerfall, and we are playing some more Stellaris. Go ahead and unpause it, and I've got my fleet heading to uh, kill some space amoebas. And I've got my uh, well, not presidential powers, my royal powers here to emancipate some people that would be doing a little bit better on their science if they weren't so slavey. Oh no, I emancipated everybody. Whoops. Sorry guys, didn't mean to <laughs> didn't mean to give you hope there. They 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 had a vacation. That's that's what it is. Yeah. Well, that made me have negative 1 food when I did that. It's it's bad, bad stuff. There we go. Slavery is over or not slavery, starvation's over. Slavery is maximized. All right, well, I've opened up uh migration with the Tarasi Accords. Let's see what they like. Oh, the Ganogian nation has declared you a rival. Construction complete. Yes, and they closed the borders. Hmm, if I get this food 25%, that might make me actually able to uh, close some farms up. <laughs> that is a pretty nice thing. That's actually really nice for the Zerf that are on the farm, too, because they get to be emancipated and turned into researchers. Although this one guy's making 12 food on this planet, and they only have plus uh, plus 5 food right now, so I don't think he's ever going to manage to <laughs> to get get free. But well, I'm going to take... Oh, I, I was about to say, I did, I did get the uh, that 25 food thing, so you should be getting it a little bit faster, too. Oh, nice. I was going to... Um... Jeez, every once in a while when I try to scroll to the bottom of a list, I end up clicking off of the list... Oh, yeah. I hate that. No, wait. Do you know what? I wasn't even off. That's dumb. Ah, damn it. A new species. Many of the roach inhabitants on Spotted Roach have turned to genetic modification to help them cope with the planet's hostile environment. The changes they have made to themselves are being passed on to their offspring, and their physical appearance is changing at an alarming rate. They have started referring to themselves as post-roach. <laughs> post-roach. That's... That, is that the... sounds like the worst cereal ever. Hey, have some no. post roach. Made from real organic uh, insects. Oh, I need to I need to look at what the what the hell these guys have decided to make themselves into. Post roach are weak. Conformists. That's actually okay. Uh, rapid breeders and arid preference. Yeah, you've you've gotten rid of your intelligence, you fools. And the Ganoigian nation says to me, "Let us end this charade." Oh, I'm going to be able to uh, figure out what Zro is and distill it into things once I figure out this thing. And you can get that cheaper because I've gotten that. Nice. Speaking of, do I actually have any? I do not have any. And my torpedoes are armored now. Nice. That is that is very nice. Situation actually. log updated. Uh, let's see here. Should probably start getting some of this plating research done too. Oh, the Tarasia Hegemony is like, hey, uh, I noticed you are uh, rivals with uh, my two big neighbors that seem to keep going to war with me. <laughs> So rather than saying, help defend us, please, they say, let's not go to war ourselves. <laughs> you never know who opportunist, uh, what type of opportunist person might be waiting in the wings. God right, damn so it, Synthetic, why the hell are you moving? Stop moving! <laughs> you fools! Alright, I think I do need a uh, orbital mind control laser here. System survey complete. Greetings from New Baldaraki. Things are progressing here at our new colony. However, we have a small request. Chobki Rod, one of our colonists, misses her family and friends on Baldaraki terribly <laughs> and wants to go home. Her whining is driving us crazy. If it's not too much to ask, do you think you could take her back? What? Absolutely not. Ah, very well. 
Situation log updated. Excellent! Hopefully this won't put too much of a strain on your resources. Since you'll only be transporting a single individual, we'll make the necessary arrangements on our end. I just broke the news to Chobki, and she is spinning with joy. In fact, she is spinning out of control now. You'll have to excuse me, Roach friends. <laughs> I love this chain! This is awesome! Yeah, it's adding an awful lot of flavor. I just wish it wasn't. Uh, I, I wish it had a uh, a picture. System survey complete. Because it's just an empty uh, blank screen when it's like you know, uh, incoming transmission, no video feed type thing. Mm, yeah. yeah. Alright, you guys just go dock up so that you're not uh, spending as much energy, which I'm capped out on. Some of our resources have exceeded their storage limit. While our storage is full, any further income in these resources will be wasted. What do you want me to do about a game? <laughs> it's nothing I can do. Which reminds me, um... I'm probably going to need to uh, break this off into a sector. Construction complete. Well, I suppose I'd be okay <laughs> because I have my new colony Research ship complete <laughs> with Latrepians. Now oh, that reminds me, I was going to get rid of this one. I'm just going to see what happens. Ouch, because this is expensive. <laughs> oh, hostile fleet engaged. What's going on? Oh, this is just the crystalline enemy. Mm, oh, no, it's a space amoeba. There we go, and I just finished... Uh... Ooh, I can get morphogenic field mastery. Let's do it. Okay, I can make a xenomorph army. Totally worthwhile. <laughs> Still need to get some of these planets colonized. Do I have anyone who's good at uh, colonizing desert? Well, other than myself. Oh, that wasn't even the... Jeez. That wasn't even the space amoeba I wanted to kill. <laughs> I just happened to cross one somewhere else. <laughs> and got, it got a little too close. Oh, you're heading down to uh, take out the... Um, mining drones? Yes. Complete. Excellent. And that's why I was surprised when I got to it and it was a space amoeba. have to go survey that when I'm done. And you know what? I think I'm getting enough influence right now. As much as I'd like more, I am going to turn on Map the Stars. Uh, if you talk to the Galactic Yapathi Combine, the purple guys, uh, how do they feel about uh, vassalizing to you? They are negative 100, partially because of their wary attitude, but partially because um, their empire is just a little bit too big. Hmm. I feel like the planets that these... like They don't have very many systems, but somehow these two guys both have pretty big negative uh, empire population. System survey complete modifiers. Yeah, because uh, I'm getting a distance penalty, which is why I can't vassalize them, and uh, I'm also guaranteeing their independence. 
and that's costing me. Mm. So I'm going to revoke the guarantee, and whatever happens, happens. I wonder if that makes them more susceptible to wanting to be... They might, yeah. Mm, it doesn't seem to. Mm, unfortunately. I think if they feel threatened, complete. they'll be more likely to, but... Yeah. Yeah, definitely if they feel threatened, then they, they will be more likely to consider it. All right, 32 more months, and we'll have... A much larger Zerf Stellar Confederation. I'm actually more likely to get the Yapathi Galactic Kingdom into um, being <laughs> a uh, vassal, which is kind of funny. Well, we may want to just attack them at some point then and uh, get them vassalized. 52. 84. But that's with Wary. That'd be down to 34. Hmm. I mean, I'm not really sure what else we could do. Nope, my bad. I was in the wrong one. Still. They're just, uh, yeah, they're almost just as likely. Just these empire, uh, empire size modifiers really just, uh, mess with things. Yeah. I mean, if someone uh, rivaled them, then that might, uh, that would probably kick them into uh, the possibility of doing something. Mm. I am definitely thinking about doing something with the, uh, the Benthel Mandate. I mean, they're tiny. You know, it's kind of like, why not? I yeah, they're could, really. I could flat out vassalize them entirely. Oh, could you? Yeah. <laughs> One of the nice things about not being a pacifist is that they will oftentimes. I mean, it, it is oftentimes pretty cheap. They have not built much. They're actually starving on their uh, capital. Oh no, the Walmoro uh, liberation liberation brawl. They're at uh, negative two against the Tarasi and the Hisma. I think that was kind of guaranteed once we ended our war. Yeah. I don't know why it's called the liberation brawl, considering that uh, they're uh, my vassal or my protectorate. Probably oh, because they they're trying to the liberate space? something. They're mm. probably trying to liberate something. That's probably what their goal is. I can't think of anything else. Alright, well this one lone battleship is going to go around uh, taking care of... Oh, I guess they already took care of this. <laughs> so much for that. All right, so, like I said, I'm going to get rid of this um, frontier outpost. Oh, you got your uh, colony going in Merope? Not Merope. Uh... Uh, no, but I'm just curious as to... Oh, what the effects are? What the effects are going to be. Colony established. Doesn't look like it did much. No, so I think it's not worth the influence to have anything there, and I don't think... Well, you the still planet's okay. Planet. I mean, uh, Oh, well, I guess if I put it into a... Uh, its own sector right away. 
I am now a planet over my limit, but I am still positive on everything. So I think I'm going to stay this way for a little bit. Let's go ahead and get building on stuff. How are we... What are we looking at in terms of... Ethics divergence? That's... It is a little bit. It is a little bit, unfortunately. Right, let's go for some uh, re-education campaigns for ten years. I need to build some more battleships, it looks like. Actually, let's see if I have anything else that I can build that would uh, help out my... No, I do not have Na uh, Zero, so I can't build a Navigator's Guild. I have no idea where Zero is at all. Do you have any Zero? Or have you not uh, I don't know if I finished the research yet. Okay. Research uh, I have complete. three months left on it. Ah, okay. I've just gotten Morphogenic Field Mastery. I can make Xenomorph Armies. Ooh. Construction. Mm, rare tech or massive glacier removal? Uh, I'll go for the rare tech for now. Research so. complete. And I got planetary shields simply because it was a rare tech, and I'm like, eh, it's rare. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Gotta get those purples. Yeah, exactly. No, I did uh, create a migration treaty with uh, uh, the Tarasi. My Tarasi guys. I'm mm. wondering if they've moved onto any planets. I found an anomaly! Woohoo! Finally! All right! A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this planet. Possibly the remains of some kind of massive fleet action. Let's research it. Only a 7% uh, risk of failure. Construction complete. Oh, and I managed to have an unemployment person, unemployed person somewhere. Yeah, I don't think my uh, my little uh, Tarasi friends have moved anywhere because I don't really have anywhere for them to move. Well, they might be trying to move to this world, I suppose. There is a spare spot. Hmm. Oh good, my uh, my science ship uh, made it all the way over to the uh, uh, the research project, special project. So there's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit around Ithris uh, Six. At some point in the last five thousand years, it's a pretty old one, and it's just how the planets pockmarked and blah blah blah. Nothing too excited. There is a, a Mount Graveyard Expedition, though. Oh, that's that's not too bad. Yeah, you should get uh, some decent stuff out of that. Let's go ahead and do that. What do I need to do? Go to... Where is my science ship? I don't know how it doesn't... Re this. These people don't realize they need to research... Uh, before they survey the rest of the system. Why would they think I want otherwise? Well, I think that is another change that's coming. Uh, that they're going to get... Uh, um, uh, you're going to be able to put things in at the beginning of the queue. Mm, so you don't have to cancel everything else out? Yeah. That would be good. I 
currently have satramine gas. I do not. I'm going to get satramine gas. Excellent. Oh, I finally managed to go negative on energy again. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm at 15,000. I'm losing 0.23 oh. per month. I'm oh. sure by the time uh, things start getting worse, I'll have some power plants finally <laughs> back up and running again. I might even liberate some uh, reserve if that's what they're running. space yet 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 <laughs> well this is actually going to be pretty good the uh, um, Latrupians are agrarian so they will be growing food for me on this uh, new world that I have sent them to colonize don't make a colony ship that's silly nice Special project complete. Special project completed. A single cargo tug hauling a gas canister has arrived uh, at Baldrock under escort by the Cave Carrot. The contents of the canister have been released into the gas giant's atmosphere, safely returning the Dathnet colonist to her home. Good riddance. <laughs> Alright, I got disruptors. Let's see, what other stuff do I have? Ooh, dark matter. I want dark matter. And it is about time to end the episode. If you're at a good stopping point. Uh, I think I am. I got a guy that's uh, fighting some crystalline entities, but he should be able to hold his own, I would think. Oh, and I just got an insult from the Tarasi hegemony. Are you in great physical pain, or is that your thinking expression? Well, I gotta, I gotta end the episode on a uh, sending them an insult. <laughs> I, I did that. I didn't mention it uh, um, to you, but I, I sent uh, insults to uh, our, our two uh, friendly neighbors. Mm. The Tarasi hegemony is a na is a nation of fools worthy of nothing but contempt. There we go. It's good times. Always good to end on an insult. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.